Welcome to SCPS 4 HANA Simplifications presentation on finance and revenue recognition. As a process, let us look at revenue recognition. In order to cash, you have contracts, sales orders, delivery, billing, and customer payment. In this entire process, we have inventory accounting at the time of delivery. So, if it's a delivery related, if it is uh, you know service related then you know depending upon the service cost uh, at the time of uh, performing uh, that particular obligation uh, is what the accounting happens and uh, in the case of billing your customer accounts receivables is impacted and customer payment uh, is followed by the AR accounting so this is like you know as a process in order to cash uh, inventory accounting so at the same time, there is a revenue accounting depending upon the performance obligations associated with the contract or sales order will result in the revenue accounting. Most of the delivery related transactions will, re will recognize the revenue the moment the goods are handed over to the customer. But if there are some performance obligations associated with particular delivery, so then if these performance obligations are contingent upon certain other conditions, then unless the conditions are met, the revenue is not recognized. For example, let us think of a scenario where software is being delivered as a sales activity and if the software is delivered uh, either it is electronically or using CD or physically it's delivered so there may be a performance obligation in such a way in that contract that if this particular software is loaded into the customer system and if it is working then only the revenue associated to that particular software sale has to be recognized so until the software is in effect at the customer location the performance obligation is not fulfilled which means the revenue should not be recognized so in that situations revenue is deferred so all the deferred revenue is recognized over a period of time depending upon the contract terms which are met through the performance obligations so that is the core of your revenue accounting. So this entire revenue recognition activity in uh, SAP is performed part of your sales and distribution module itself. So now let us look at the couple of transactions which are there like updating the sales order, revenue recognition postings, you have work lists and you have a couple of reports and all that are there. right? So these are the revenue recognition transaction codes in the SD revenue recognition module. All these transaction codes are going away with S4 simplification which we are talking of. So in, in future there is another module which is delivered by SAP as an independent module which is revenue accounting and recognition. So here revenue accounting and reporting is what they call RAR uh, 1.1 version as of now. So which is used for all revenue accounting and uh, reporting, right? So here the interesting thing is that even if you are not using S4 HANA, if you are to like meet the requirements from US GAAP and IFRS to meet uh, the IFRS guidelines or standards which are coming up. Majority of the industries it is mandatory to adapt IFRS standards. So in order to do that SAP is offering revenue accounting and reporting module. So this module has to be implemented. So this module is compulsory module from from the business process perspective going forward to meet the IFR standard. Same time SAP eliminated SD revenue recognition completely in S4 HANA architecture. So meaning in the S4 HANA architecture 
even if you do not have obligations to meet US GAAP or IFRS re uh, revenue recognition modules, you have to definitely have to adapt revenue accounting and reporting st module which is being delivered by SAP. So it's it's a, a little bit uh, um, like you no, know, it's uh, piggy piggybacking on what is already being delivered, and uh, Sorana is built with that. Okay, so let's look at like what happens in the migration project. So first of all, from the sales orders and all the contracts which are there, which are not yet fulfilled or not delivered, deferred revenue still there, and orders which which have the obligation to change. For example, there is maybe a quantity change, credit memos. Uh, subject to the cancellation so all these kind of sales orders need to be moved to revenue accounting and reporting module of SAP uh, 1.1 is version latest version and then if at all you are going for S4 HANA the migration will take place from automatically from that revenue accounting reporting module which is automatically integrated natively with the S4 HANA architecture so from ECC to S4 HANA when you are moving uh, from this migration so there are some challenges as well so it's not that every functionality which is available in ECC part of your revenue recognition in the sales and uh, distribution module are available in S4 HANA so there are missing functionalities for example time related revenue recognition uh, with reference to billing that functionality is missing and uh, there are uh, certain business process like contracts for with the uh, call of orders kind of functionality is missing in S4 HANA. Probably SAP may offer this in future but at this point of time these are the challenges if at all you are implementing S4 HANA architecture uh, you need to consider these two areas and you may require to do some kind of customizing in order to meet your business requirement. Okay. So this is a migration path from uh, for revenue recognition uh, to S4 HANA. Uh, there is a linkage between S4 HANA and revenue accounting and reporting uh, modules which are which are delivered by SAP. Thanks for watching and look for more presentations. Uh, please visit uh, simplefinancesupport.com for uh, all SAP S4 HANA simplifications discussion. Thank you.